Carbon might be the most popular performance material to construct bikes out of, but there's no denying the romance of a metal frame. Steel has always held a soft spot in people's hearts, and aluminium's increasing sophistication makes it a versatile material, and then there's titanium to boot, a sort of mysterious material. To honour the craft of creating a metal bike, we decided to pull together five of the hottest steel, aluminium and titanium bikes available. But before we jump into it, don't forget to subscribe to the Cycling Weekly YouTube channel. Typically, bikes are considered performance models only if they're made out of carbon fibre, but the Condor Accaccio disproves this. Using Columbus XCR steel allows the bike's tubes to be drawn extremely thin, giving the bike a higher stiffness to weight ratio. It's a sink of beauty and is available as a completely custom bike, with geometry to suit your riding style, be that endurance or full out performance, for the price of £3,599. Not all hot non-carbon bikes have to be bespoke steel beauties. The Trekamonda ALR proves that aluminium can compete with the best carbon bikes and it's a lightweight frame, 1131 grams for a 56. The frame is made of 300 series alpha aluminium and Trek uses a proprietary hydroforming process to manipulate the aluminium into shape. Invisible welds help increase the carbon look of this metal bike. A complete build comes in at £1,650. The classic look of the Genesis Equilibrium is tough to beat. It's made of Reynolds 725 steel which is heat treated, allowing the tubing to be drawn thinner, thus decreasing weight. This is paired to a carbon fork up front. Its use of the rarely seen silver Shimano 105 group set is particularly charming and finish off the bike's timeless look. This equilibrium comes in at £1,399. Made of that mysterious third frame material titanium, the Enigma Signature XL is drop dead gorgeous. It's made of a low density titanium that increases the frame's stiffness to weight but it's a notoriously difficult material to use which probably explains why it comes with a price tag of £3,385 for a disc frame set. But you have to admit, with those deep section wheels, it looks absolutely stunning. The Cannondale CAD 13's frame is made from a premium alloy that has been given truncated airfoil shapes that give the bike an aerodynamic edge, something not often considered when it comes to a non-carbon bike. Dropping the seat stays, a design that proved controversial amongst fans of the traditional geometry of the CAD 12, gives the CAD 13 a carbon-like appearance and a superbly plush ride quality. It's enough to make you utter out loud, is this carbon, as soon as you hop on. So there you go, five bikes that prove carbon doesn't rule the roost. Which were your favourites? Or have you been eyeing up a particularly bespoke beauty? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe to the Cycling Weekly YouTube channel.